Hyperthermia is very different from fever. Fever is the body's regulated response to a new set point temperature. Hyperthermia, however, is an unregulated body temperature and is associated with high morbidity and mortality. You don't want to miss it. The two most common causes of hyperthermia are drug-induced. Think about this in a patient exposed to inhaled anesthesia or antipsychotic medications. And heat stroke caused by external environmental factors. Think about this particularly in elderly during times of heat waves in those with no access to air conditioning. There are three major drug-induced hyperthermias. Malignant hyperthermia is caused by a faulty calcium channel receptor, thus increasing calcium and causing uncontrolled muscle contraction. Dantrolene can be used as a reversal agent. Serotonin syndrome is caused by drugs that increase serotonin levels, classically monoamine oxidase inhibitors, or MAOIs. Patients have hyperreflexia, large pupils, and clonus. Ciproheptadine, a serotonin antagonist, can be used as an adjunctive therapy. Neuroleptic malignant syndrome, or NMS, is caused by antipsychotics. Presentation can occur up to eight days after exposure, as opposed to the 24-hour window with other drug-induced causes. Patients are hyporeflexic and have normal pupils. There is no effective antidote. Rapid cooling is the main therapeutic intervention for all hyperthermias, regardless of cause. Ice bath submersion is the most effective means of cooling and must be done as quickly as possible. Antipyretics are not effective in these patients. Patients with drug-induced hyperthermia may need intubation and paralysis to stop further muscle contraction.